Okay, so what's up? Welcome to the podcast. Um, if you can tell the audience what's your name and uh, who you are for, for the people who don't know you and don't know what, what you do. Do an introduction hey, of yourself. My, Borza, my name is Borza and I am from Canada and I make TikTok. <laughs> I'm a TikToker. <laughs> Most people know you because of your smile, I think. Bro, you smile, I can't. I mean, that's that's all you do, right? Yeah, I just make videos. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find out that your your smile is helping you go viral? Oh, well, I guess after my first viral post. But yeah, um, yeah. Um, I had a, a TikTok account two years ago. I, I started TikTok when it was TikTok, when I went and just turned to TikTok. Mm-hmm. And I just made a post, and then they slowly started to get likes, and I just read the comments. Just read the comments and see what people like. <laughs> I know you, everything you do is like your smile. Yeah. Bro, like ev- now I noticed something like for the past month, everyone is doing Omigo videos. Like everyone on TikTok. Everyone's trying to do Omigo yeah. videos. Yeah. It's sick. It's it's really sick when people interact with other strangers. Yeah. Do, do you have any tips for, like, new creators? Uh, I would just say that they should... I would only say that they should only use... Um, well, I mean, the only... Okay, I would just say they should just... Be original and always read read the c- 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 comments. They should never t- t- turn the comments off because I usually get ideas from my comments, like the way people comments, mm-hmm. if it's good or bad. So that's what I use to make my next videos. Like just read the comments. <laughs> cool. What? Wait. So wait. When did you start? How many months ago? Oh well, I started TikTok like. Two years ago. Oh, so when did you start blowing up? Okay, well, I've actually, this is actually like my third account. I mean, my fourth account, actually. I had like four other accounts before. So the first one I had had three million and the other two had one million. So they all got blocked? Well, one of them, I sold it and the other ones, Got banned. Cool. So you sold your account. Was it worth it? Do you regret it? Mm, I guess at the time I did. Like, not right now. Maybe like six months or seven months later. But now I don't. Because I already have three million again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's one thing that, that caught you off guard? Like, now you're popping off. And now what's one thing that you didn't expect? Expect to happen when you're kind of famous. You consider yourself famous. Oh, well, I was in Los Angeles last week, and some people with like ten million followers recognize me. I didn't think they would. They're really famous, bro. You know what's cool? What's cool is that, for example, you you have three million, but you don't. Yeah. You may not see yourself as you have like. 3 million and you know you know you don't consider yourself that famous so when other yeah. famous people recognize you like okay that's me yeah, yeah. you like yeah. okay you like my content yeah. yeah that's me it's actually me that's not anyone else that's actually me you know obviously yeah. it's me you know and you like you like okay that's me okay yeah but i i like how hum well you look humble so i like how humble you are <laughs> Um, next question. What's one mistake you you done when you started posting content? Oh, uh, I used to post like too much. I used to post like maybe like six videos all at once. Mm-hmm. What do you do now? I post like it. If, if, if I want to post a lot, I just give it like one hour. 
break. So like one post one hour, mm-hmm. then wait one hour and then post the next post the next hour or two hours, at least one or two hours. Yeah, yeah. Also like, what is your thoughts about quality content versus quantity content? Oh, uh, well, well, when you start off, always go for the quantity because the quantity will build the quality. Okay. What do you mean by that? Well, because the more you, the more you post, the more better you'll be because it's like in real life, like if you practice, like it, like if you want to be a basketball player or like a soccer player, the more you practice, then the more better you'll become at your craft. Yeah, but I think, and correct me if you disagree or agree with me, is that you should practice basketball with the right technique. Also, you should practice posting content like post the best content you can yeah as much as possible don't just post like take a video one try and post it take a video do yeah. the best you can think about the yeah. idea plan it and post it yeah do you agree okay, with that yeah i agree with that i agree with that yeah so how do you come up with your ideas oh well muscle most of them are just original, like I just, it's natural, like, I mean, I like making videos, so I just, like, I usually just read the comments and see what people like, but for, like, the Amigo ones and stuff, I just knew that I could smile in the dark. Like, I just tried it with my laptop, and I was like, wow, this is nice. That's cool. do that's that. dope as fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's, that's, that's creepy and fun to watch their reactions. Of the other person, yeah. it's so much fun, yeah. and you can never get yeah. bored of it. I don't know why, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Do people? Fun question. Do people smile automatically or laugh when they see your smile? Yeah, they usually smile, bro. They, I, I'm bro. It's so irresistible. Like you can go up to girls and like, and just laugh and just pick them up. That would be yeah. fun as fuck. What's one thing that people don't know about you? Uh, I like to work out. You like to wear? Work out. Like, the gym. Oh, no, we can't notice that. It's really noticeable. Bro, you're huge as fuck. How tall are you? No, not really. Huh? How tall are you? Oh, I'm only 5'9". I'm short. Oh, so you're my height. Okay, we yeah, yeah. we're short, yes. Yeah. Um, next questions. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Bro, you, okay, wait, your screen is is lagging. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's very blurry. Now it's getting better. Okay. Okay, okay, it's getting better. So, are you happy? Yes, I am. Why? Because of like, because in general you're happy, you're a happy person. Like you're reaching your goals with TikTok and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy with life. I'm happy with uh, where I am. Just relaxing, no stress. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Good for you. Good for you. What's the weirdest thing a guest has done at your house? A guest. Mm-hmm. Uh. I don't really have many guests in my house, though. Like, our house is just, like, all Africans. There are students here. So, don't, there's not really anything weird. Like, like I'm just in my room here. Like, I rent a room here. But, but, I mean, the guys in the house, they all know me. Like, we all talk to each other and stuff. But no one does anything weird here. Like, we don't really do weird stuff here. I mean, <laughs> there's... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, no. There's some... There's some other youtubers that came to my house and they asked me some weird stuff for their video like i don't know they have this channel where, where, where they just oh they just did some weird stuff like some gay stuff some like yo how big is your you know and oh yeah um, they asked me some weird stuff man like is four inches big enough and oh some weird stuff that's weird so that's, that's weird <laughs> yeah like without even knowing they just came to your house and just asked you these questions well no he he was the one that was in one of my omegle videos like he's the white guy that wore the mask that yeah he like 
I actually went with him to Los Angeles two weeks ago, mm-hmm. like uh, in the USA. So I've known him for like almost one year, but yeah. Yeah. Who? Cool. Where from now? Like, what are your goals from now on? Oh, I just want to build my YouTube channel. That's the only thing I. Like, so I'm just doing what I'm doing. I'm just being patient, and I just want to grow my YouTube channel, like like 200k and then keep it going from there yeah i mean you most people i don't like their their content strategy and had what i have one of my friends has 700k followers on tiktok and he asked me for advice for the content strategy and i told him some stuff but i think what i was what i'm telling him you're doing it is that make a youtube video and get the clips from there and post it on TikTok yeah. and on TikTok you promote it on, on YouTube. Because if it goes yeah. if, if the clips are good, it will go viral on TikTok. You grow your TikTok channel and then you will also promote your YouTube channel. So you're winning both yeah. ways. So that's yeah. that's the hack. That's yeah. the ultimate hack. And imagine like you have it you have editors doing this stuff, like ten dollars per clip, and because yeah. he, you and him are big enough that you can get sponsors and they can sponsor you. You will grow, yeah. get more sponsors, the sponsor will pay you more, and you, it's like a cycle. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the best thing ever. Yeah, yeah. I think in the last month, I've grown like 30,000 subscribers just from all my TikTok videos. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, like, uh, you should month. do more of that. Yeah. And sure. What I thought before, what I was thinking before, is that being an influencer is like a business. So in my opinion, people, influencers should not take their earnings out of the business. They should get their earnings, in my opinion, and put it back into the business. And a very yeah. good idea for Amigo videos is that a guy is, is, is giving $5 or $10 if they can make them laugh. That's very little money. And there was a clip yeah. that he got from the $5 that he got 2.5 million views for that five dollars. If he was a bigger, wow. much bigger influencer that can give like 15 or 20, I can go even more bigger. Yeah. That's that's ridiculous. And if you can find a sponsor that can sponsor that video, that'll be yeah. huge. That's true. What's one mistake that you're doing right now with your content? Uh one mistake. mistake or what what you should start doing more of with your content oh well i guess i would i kind of want to see if, uh i kind of want to see if i guess i want to add maybe i might start adding like scary music or something i don't know i or like i don't know actually i I haven't really thought too much about that, but the only thing, I mean, I guess maybe I should do what I love. I actually like to vlog, like I have a vlog channel, but the views are very, very low, like it's really yeah. trash. So I'm only doing this channel because I know if I grow this channel, then I can grow my other channel in the future. And mm-hmm. and the other channel that I want to grow, that's the one I actually love, like the vlogging and like walking outside in the store, like vlogging what's around me. And yeah, that's what I really like. Yeah, I feel you. I feel like the age of vlogging is over, but I think one way that you can hack around it is that maybe you can add a challenge to each vlog because nowadays people like challenges. So you can vlog and do challenges, just do a challenge and then vlog. Or you can post your mini clips of vlogs into the TikTok and you can you know, like you're doing now with Omigo videos. So that's one way that yeah. vlogs can work. Yeah. Um, what do you want people to remember you for? Um, uh, I mainly for just being happy. Being happy with not having much. Like. Yeah, humble. Humble and like, yeah, nice. What are you thinking about lately? Lately? I've just been thinking about, well, my goal, well, I've only been thinking about, um, my, my goal is to 
uh, keep making videos within the next month or two and then move to Los Angeles because that's where I really want to be because I was there two weeks ago and it's hot all year there so it's very very nice over there like very very nice and then I can meet with other TikTokers and them and then collab because a lot of them recognize me anyways so it'll be easy to like, yeah. talk and network well, so wait you want to go to Los Angeles and did they invite you to any team or are you just going to go independently friends and we went to sat okay so they have two restaurants they have what's called saddle ranch and boa that's mm -hmm. where like the most famous people go like logan paul those in the hype house like i was there we saw all those people there and and a lot of them recognized me and and they had like two three four million followers and i was like damn they actually recognized me <laughs> so i was like wow nice and, man and good for I you talked with some of them. yeah i was talk talking with some of them and like lil zan and those guys were there too i was talking with them Feels good. Feels good to talk to more famous people. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Like, I feel yeah. like before that, I don't know. I feel like you were like a simple kid just growing up normally. And like now people, famous people recognize you. Yeah. My advice is like, okay, if you want to follow it, don't follow it. But my advice is like, try to be, remain humble and don't yeah. get, get caught up with this drama shit. And like, yeah. Yeah, you know what I drama mean. is too much stress. Yeah. I know, like, Ma you know Matt Gracia? Matt? Matt G-R-E-S-I-A. No, I, I don't actually. He he does, like, how, ma how much does Charlie make? How much does Logan Poo make? How much? Wait, what's his name? Oh, that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that guy. Yeah, I interviewed him and he's a really good kid. He's he's really okay. nice. And he's an, I, I love him just because he's humble like you. He, ha he has like a business like called, like he sells socks for cancer research stuff. Okay. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah. Um, what's your best pickup line? TikTok line? Best pickup line. Pickup line? Uh, no, I mean, I'm just simple. I just say, I would just say, hey, do you remember me? I don't got any lines. I'm actually trash. I don't have girls or anything. I don't have no girls or anything, so I, I, I don't know what to say. I'll just smile. Hey, what's up, baby? <laughs> legend, man. Fucking legend. You just, like, smile and like, okay, marry me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, who's your favorite, like, YouTuber, influencer that you met? Like, you actually met? Okay. Well, I didn't meet too many. I only saw Alex Warren. Mm-hmm. He's, like... He's in the hype house. He he's like probably the one that I met. I didn't see any famous famous like like it's hard to meet famous people in LA, but we just saw them. Um, yeah, I only saw Alex Warren, and I think we might have seen uh, yeah only Alex Warren. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, like my time in LA was just Alex Warren. And and, and who's your favorite one? So Alex Warren is your. Favorite TikToker that's also famous that you met? Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't meet anybody famous that I liked. Mm -hmm. There, I don't, yeah, no, then, I didn't. Then, then who's your favorite TikToker or YouTuber? Uh, I'll be honest, I actually don't have any. I only look up to myself. Nice, man. Bro, are you an introvert or an extrovert? What does that mean? Do you like, do you prefer to be alone? Or do you prefer to spend time with other people and socialize? Okay. I like both, but I like to be alone because, yeah, I like to be alone because I can think easier. I mean, like, I like to be with my friend, but I, okay, I, I guess I would say I like to be by myself more. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, think, by myself. I think you're the same with me. I like to be with other people, but also like make productive stuff like not waste time yeah. i like to be with other yeah, people yeah, and film that. stuff if we can film yeah, stuff yeah. that'll be great yeah. because like i'm doing yeah. what i like and i'm with my friends yeah yeah but it's good to be alone also it's good to be alone sometimes so we can think you think much more easier yeah yeah, yeah. um how can someone go viral on tiktok Should post something like within the first four seconds 
the first three or four seconds, they should post something that should that would hook hook somebody. Like I usually think that like something that where like they scroll because you know people are always scrolling, right? So some people don't have time to watch for even a second. They just see something like I don't know. But if they're like, hey, hey, what the heck? Like first, oh, they, if they can react the first three or four seconds, they go watch the whole clip. Yeah. So I just use to make sure that first two or three seconds, I say something or do something that I like hook somebody, like wake them up, like like you know, just wake them up. So then, yeah. Mhm. One second, bro. Yeah. One second. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I get it, and I agree with you. Um. Any thoughts on climate change? No, I don't. No, not that. What's stopping people from being happy? Um. I would say that they always uh, compare themselves with other people for sure because of you know Instagram and all that this person has more likes this person has more money and all that and also too much um, screen time I think too much screen time on the phone um, like they're saying something about 5G it like ruins your brain cells and stuff like mm-hmm. yeah I would say that too 5G well I would say too much yeah, too much screen time and comparing yourself on social media with someone that's more famous or has more than you because those drain your energy and if your energy is low then you'll just always feel like you're just like trash like in a bad mood like oh you know my life is trash or whatever yeah what is one what what would you say to us what would you say to your youngest self me yes i would just say um like okay how young wait how old are you now I'm 24. 14. Oh, I, I would just say uh, 14. Okay. Honestly, at that age, I, I would just say just uh, stay off the internet, just play video games, just live in the real world. Go play basketball outside, go play outside in the field or something. Just enjoy life in the moment because once you get like, like at 14, like fourteen year olds now are on TikTok and they're getting brainwashed by because now TikTok's more sexualized now. So little kids are starting to do more dirty stuff. So that's not good. Like especially in this era. Now younger kids are mm-hmm. brains are gonna be all messed up. Yeah. The TikTok and all the bad stuff. So I'll just stay stay in the real world, just have them play basketball, keep them busy with sports, everything in the real world. Nothing online. If, if they want to watch anything online, just like YouTube or like some kind of funny TV show. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, this might be a personal question. If you want to answer, answer. If you don't want, don't answer. Are you religious? Yeah. What What are you? Are you a Christian? Are you Muslim? What are you? Christian. Nice, man. Nice, nice. Yeah, but on, on the other hand, with, with technology and like TikTok, TikTok and stuff, there's an opportunity to learn, post content that is funny and like can help people laugh and like get the day going. So I think they should u- use use technology productively in a good way. Yeah. How many chickens will it take to kill an elephant? Chickens? Yes, sir. To kill an elephant? Uh-huh. <laughs> wow, like five thousand, bro. Five thousand? That's, that's my guess. Yeah, to kill it. How is a chicken gonna kill an elephant, though? I don't know by biting it. I don't know. That's gonna help, man. Yeah, they, <laughs> it should be fucking a lot. I don't know how many, but a lot. <laughs> the, by the way, there is an actual answer on the internet, but now I forgot the answer. So I ser- should I search it up? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Many chickens will it take to kill an elephant? Let's see. Oh. Let's see now. Your prediction was 5,000. My prediction is 10,000. No, we both failed. 
2,207 chickens. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Who measured that? How can... Wait. It's 206 roosters. Not chickens. Chickens don't fight. It's 206 okay. roosters for a draw. So 2,207 chickens to kill an elephant. Okay. <laughs> One chicken will survive. Uh, um, if animals could talk, which would be the rudest? Which would be the rudest? Yes, sir. I would say like a, a kangaroo. I'd be like, kangaroos are dangerous, man. They can kick, they can throw. They're dangerous, man. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. It will punch you or something. Yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> you'd be like chilling. The, you would be like chilling in front of her, like, pa! Kicks you and you're dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in one sentence, how would you sum up the internet? Okay, I'll say beautiful. Why? But only because, only because you can make money way better now in this generation than other. Like, everyone's mind is only thinking about money. Money, money, money. So, there's always a way to make money. Like, it will take time, but there's always ways ways to make money. Like there's no way you can't make money online or like be a boss or be a business owner. Like there's always ways. So yeah, mm -hmm. there's no excuse. What is your goal for the what? Actually, no. I asked that question. Um, do you prefer to take revenge or forgive? Oh, forgive. <laughs> because you're Christian, nice. Um, <laughs> if someone is hating you, what would you say to them? Uh, I say I'm happy and you're not. Damn. Okay. Damn. Oh wow. <laughs> that's the ultimate roast, bro. No, honestly, that's the actual biggest roast for me personally. That's the biggest because like. Damn. How much do you think about your legacy? Uh, right now, okay. I'll say, yeah, 100%. Like, always. Yeah, yeah, always. Why? What changed? Or was it always like that? No, it was always like that. Like, since, since I started to do TikTok since, like, 2019, I always, like, yo... I'm gonna be I'm gonna be popular when I die. People are gonna do what I do, and like my words will keep living forever. Like damn. my smile and everything, and my damn, energy. Damn, damn, bro, damn, damn. Did did anyone DM you like personal stuff? And like they you they told you like you helped me get out of depression by seeing your videos and you making me laugh. Uh, I have a few emails. Yeah, some emails. Some people message me. Just saying, oh, you made my day, I was having a bad day, and you made me smile. Damn, bro, that, that really means, that really means something. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, this is a tough question. You may not know this, but I'm going to ask it either way. Where do forgotten thoughts go? Forgotten thoughts? Mm -hmm. um, I guess, I feel like they usually just get recycled, and then they just pop up randomly. I don't know. That's my guess. I don't know where, but usually sometimes I forget something and then later, maybe in two, three days or next week, it'll just pop up again. Like, oh, I remember. Oh, yeah. I remember that. I was thinking about that. I didn't get it. Yeah. So it stays in your brain with little words. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the most stupid comment you got. Okay, someone asked me, are you black? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some other ones too, but that was funny though. It was like kind of like... Yeah. No, bro, you're a kangaroo! What do you expect? Yeah. What, you, what does he expect you to say back? Like, no, I'm a carrot. Yeah. But it's funny. But I bet you laugh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. What, what do you put first? The cornflakes or... Or the milk? I always put the milk. 
Why? I know. Why? I just put the milk and then I put the cornflakes. There's, there's not, I don't have anything. I just, I just do it like that. Like, that's just how I do it. No. I, always be, I don't put too much milk. Where it's, oh my gosh, I, I soak it. I just put a little bit with the cornflakes. And if you need more milk, I just add more milk. <laughs> just put the corn like my my logic by putting the cornflakes first and and honey actually maple syrup is like I put it first and then I put the milk so the maple syrup like soaks in the cornflakes it's more juicy and like it absorbs okay. the flavor with milk I don't know it feels weird mm. okay that is okay it's the way you do it if you could say one thing to the entire world what would you do. Oh, what would you say? Say, just be happy. <laughs> nice, man. Uh, if you could do anything for a day, what would you do? Mm. I'll probably... Oh, what do you mean by do anything? Like, anything, anything? Anything. You can have all the money, all the power. Like, anything, bro. You can go to Mars, you can visit Bill Gates, whatever. Uh, I'll probably just go get my teeth whitened at the dentist. <laughs> it's already white, even more. I mean, I want it to be like snow white. <laughs> Damn, bro. You want to be irresistible. You're just walking by and you smile at the lady like, okay. And then she grabs and holds your hand and you become like married from the instantly. She falls. She falls yeah. in love with you, bro. Damn. Okay. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? <laughs> I think I already have it, man. The power to make somebody smile. Yeah, true. But that that's the only thing I think about. I don't think about too many things. The power. I don't know. I, or or the, or the power to. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> no. Well, it's not a real power. What, what, what was it? I, I have a lot of thoughts in my mind now. Maybe like the power... I don't know. Maybe the power to make a new iPhone or... The power to... Oh, the power to cure hunger. Mm-hmm. Or something. To make people... Make everyone eat. Cool, cool. Like, have food for the world, yeah. Wait, are you actually from Canada? You were born there and you're actually from Canada? Or your parents yeah, are from yeah, another I'm country? Born. I'm born here, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, man. Does a straw have one or two holes? One. <laughs> Do you want to explain why one and not two? I mean, usually when I get a sh shirt through my hole, it just goes this way. It doesn't go through the back. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you... Oh, I mean, okay, it's two. You mean like this and the bottom, right? Like yeah, like it's true. My shirt. Oh, there's two. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> can you <laughs> can you lick your elbow? I don't think so. No, I can't. Okay, close enough. What are three things you're, you're grateful for? I'm grateful for being Canada, first world. Thankful for food and shelter. Damn, damn, bro. Bro, your mindset is in place. Sick. Um, would you rather give your parents 1 million euros or get married? Give my parents 1 million euros. I'm not getting married? Yeah, because married... Okay, well, in Canada... I don't know how it's like in Cyprus. Do you guys have, like, common-law marriage there? What's that? It's like the thing where it's like... Well, okay, I, you know all about divorce and all that, right? You mm -hmm. guys have those things where it's like, when you divorce, you have to pay half this to somebody? Yeah, but I don't know if it applies here because not a lot of people divorce. Oh, okay. Well, here, divorce rate is very high. In North America, it's very, very high. Mm -hmm. Like, people marry for like two, three months, four months, and they'll 
divorce. The person who has money will be giving half of their earnings, half of everything they have to somebody. So if they make a million dollars or two million dollars, they're giving half of that right Damn. away. Just for like, so marriage, marriage in North America is a business, my guy. <laughs> Bro, imagine like women like go search for the richest guy and they just like marry them and like the next week they divorce. They do it like 10 times and they're rich as fuck. Not even 10 times from the, from the first time. You get one, two million, yeah. you can survive for like fucking, I don't know, one year. Rich, yeah. living a very good life. Yeah, you heard about Dr. Dre and Jeff Bezos, right? Yeah, Jeff Bezos, man. No. Yeah, yeah he got divorced and look how much, bro. The girl got like 500 million or something, 200 million, bro, like that. Just like that. No, wasn't it like 330 billion? I don't know. It was a lot. It was, bro, that money was, that's life change. I mean, she was already, already rich, but she got that <laughs> money. Like, bro, that's a business. That's not even love. That's a business. Dang, even, <laughs> even, even if she got one billion, that's, yeah. that's a thousand million. It is. Like Jake Maybe. Paul, Jake Paul flexes his money and he has a net worth yeah. of like 50 million. Imagine like, 1500 million. That's unlimited money. Yeah. It is. That you can buy like 1500 jets. Yeah. That's oh man. Damn, that's sad as fuck. Um, who do you like more, your mom or your dad? Mm, I'll say my dad. Why? Because he's. He's, uh, he's aggressive. Okay, and you can beat him? Like, like, like he's like, no, he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's aggressive, like, like, he just, like, when we were growing up, he's always telling us, like, uh, be successful, or don't join gangs, don't be bad, uh, go, to, go to church, like, always waking us up, like, if we sleep and always slack, like, he always makes sure, oh, don't be a bad boy, or are you gonna move out, like, just, like, telling us some serious stuff, like. It's always yeah. serious. Yeah. What, were you always religious from a young age? Well, yeah. Um, well, since grade four, that's when I moved with my dad. So, yeah. So, since grade four, because my dad always w went to church, so we had to go. We had no choice but to go. So, we were just always there. Yeah. Do you still go to church? Uh, recently, no. I haven't gone. Our church is online, though, on Zoom. Every mm -hmm. Friday, so. Okay, cool. Also, like, did you have the? Did it ever happen that you had the opportunity to join a gang? No, never. You were just always away from it. Yeah, it was just yeah. Only if you were in high school, or if you were poor, I guess, then you'd be able to join it. Cause, but other than that, there was no in Canada. I mean, for me, I don't know. What, where the gangs are, like, where they live or whatever, but I good. never had opportunity. Good, good, Make sure you don't know. Stay, stay the fuck away. <laughs> like, you see gangs, you run the opposite way. Like, you put your yeah. speed on, you, you fucking run as fuck. Do you think white privilege yeah. exists? Uh, I'll say... I don't know. I feel like maybe, like, uh, I'll say yeah. I'll say people just... Sometimes just look at black people and just like lower them. But I think it's just not, I guess, I don't know if white privilege, I'll just say maybe just people just see black people like a little bit lower, like, oh, you know, this, nah, nah, nah. Okay. That's it. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think, do you think men and women have equal rights? No, definitely not. Who has more? Women. That's obvious. So women have more rights. Like more, yeah, more things, yeah. Because they're weaker. So and a lot of people are like, oh well they need more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they and they complain. And they complain yeah. that they have less rights. What what are they going on about? Yeah. Like I think I saw a TikTok video today that Johnny Depp her her wife was harassing him, like hitting him yeah. for like over two years. Did you see that TikTok? Uh, I didn't see the TikTok, but my friend told me about it, like, one time, like, everything he did to him, the skin and everything, or, yeah, it was nasty. Yeah, and he took her to court and nothing, no one did anything. Yeah. 
like also like if the dad is a good person but the but the mom takes the dad to court about keeping the baby the mom will always win 99% the mom will always win so like you hit a woman once like everyone is against you you hit a man once who gives a fuck yeah <laughs> that's that's different do you think do you think we're better off now than 100 years ago Course. And what would you say? Ago, there was no... mm -hmm. So sorry. No, oh. tell me, tell me. Oh, I was just saying there was no networks, there was no phone, there was no content to post. But I mean, like mentally, everyone was feeling nice because it was like you just look outside, see the sun, enjoy life, breathe fresh air. So for help, for help wise, I'll say yeah. But everything else, I'll say no. There was less money, there was less this, less that, like, less, yeah. But just for health-wise, like, happiness, happiness was definitely high. Like, hey, how's it going, hey? <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. I, I haven't seen any stat statistic measures or some stuff. Also, um, I was going to say, oh, yeah, what's one thing someone should, should start doing? I'll say like meditate, meditate, and uh, yeah, meditate. Honestly, I would just say meditate and write down goals every day. Like actually, yeah, writing down goals. And if they have problems in their head, I usually just write them down on a piece of paper so that the problems are on are on the paper and not in my head. Mm hmm. Okay. Do you do you meditate? You mean just focus on your breath? Like meditate, like, okay, for me, meditating is just like not going on. S okay, uh, I usually just watch videos that make me happy or like make me in a good mood or like listen to high vibration music. So not like rapid hip hop, but like some kind of like, um, I don't know. I don't know how you call the music genre, but it's like, I guess pop music, something like a Shawn Mendes, something that's very outgoing, like very nice and peaceful, or like, yeah, something that's not too heavy, like, oh, oh, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, not like he he sang, heavy you know? metal rock type shit. Like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like drain my energy a lot, actually. Yeah. Who's one person that you want to meet that's famous? Oh, no, just anyone in general. I guess I would just say Mr. Beast, I guess. Yeah. He's so, like, he's so humble. And his house is like yeah. a normal house. He's making yeah. so much money. He's yeah. such a cool dude. Such a cool... And people still don't believe that he's actually giving away that money. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, yeah. What's one thing everyone should stop doing? Drugs or smoking. Have you I hate drinking. I, okay. Have you ever done I drugs? Drinking and smoking. Me, I've ever no, I've never done drugs or smoked. Or drink. Nothing. No. No even okay, you, you never drunk alcohol? No, never. Why? It's not it's not a, a sin in Christianity. No, it's not that. I oh. just don't like it. I just don't like I don't know, it's beer, like getting drunk. I don't like, I don't, I don't like that. I like water, milk, juice, but I don't like beer. Yeah, yeah, I don't like beer either. I like the apple cider one, which like, it's like yeah. beer, but with sugar on it. So it's kind of sweet. Yeah. So it's just juice. It's juice with alcohol. So yeah, juice. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Um, what's your most favorite TikTok trend? Uh, I'm going to you. I could get to my computer. Okay. When they got a turn. Okay. Actually, I don't, oh man, I'm honest, I don't like any of the TikTok trends from this year, but there was one last year. It was a song by Lil Keith called HBD. It was one where everyone went like forward, back, forward, Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Like that one. 
when I saw mm-hmm. that last year, bro, I still do that dance every day, like just going like that, like. Like walking down the street, like hey, 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 hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine your fans see you in the street, like hey, hey, hey. Like okay, yeah. I don't want to take a picture with him. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, like, what do you think? No, do people take pictures with you? Yeah, they do. What What was going through your head the first time someone took a picture with you? Oh, I was, I was just like, wow, they actually recognize me. They, they think I'm famous, but I'm not really. <laughs> Isn't it weird? <laughs> like, they come to you, I'm like, I just do videos. Okay? Yeah, just leave. that's true. Well, I mean, TikTok, ha- like, fame has, like, hype to it. So when people see in real life, it's like, whoa, it's legit. Like, it's in the live moment. Like, this is a real guy. Like, he's real. He's not fake. Yeah. And they, and they see you smile. Oh, and they... Yeah. Do, do they tell you to smile in in the in the always the... yeah always yeah smile 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 <laughs> <laughs> damn and it's so like weird like what do you talk to them about like I had this I had this once happened to me once I don't usually go out I'm like what do I tell him like picture okay like how old are you and then what after the picture what happens I was like confused what to do. Is is cereal a soup? Is what? Is cereal a soup? No. Why? It's a breakfast. Yeah, but there's solid <laughs> and there's. Yeah, it's not soup. No soup. Soup is salty. You can soup. put you can put salt. Ah, I'm good, bro. You can put salt <laughs> in complex, bro. I'm good, bro. Oh man! <laughs> what would you do if you had like one million euros, or Canadian money, whatever you want to call it? I'll I'll fly to Los Angeles. You what? I'll fly to Los Angeles in the USA. Oh, so you really LA. want to go to Los Angeles? I do. Yeah. Damn man. Damn. Okay. Hope every, I hope everything goes well with you flying to Los Angeles. People say, I, I, I listen to Logan Paul's podcast, and everyone say, like, they're so toxic, they're so fake, some stuff. Yeah, over there it is, yeah. But, like, for me, I'm, like, for me, because, like, the way my life is, I wouldn't want, like, I wouldn't go and uh, do videos with other people. I'll just do videos by myself, just live in the real Like, for me, I don't care about, like, doing, like, uh, collabs. Like, uh, yeah, with people. Because, like, whether I do it or not, I'll still be the same. Like, same. I'll still be happy. So I'll just go there, vlog by myself, walk around the city, just be peaceful and just live my life. So you just want to go there for the city, not to collab or some stuff? I don't really want to collab. Like, I don't care to collab. I don't really care. If I collab or not, I'll still be the same. Like, I'll still feel the same. You just want to be in your world, like, enjoying a peaceful life. Yeah, yeah. Just vlogging normal stuff. Just going to the superstore, like just vlogging your food. Yeah. That'd be yeah. cool, bro. Imagine like in the future, like maybe you can see this. Maybe you see gonna gonna see this TikTok clip in five years. I'm gonna say like, imagine you have a videographer just following you around, just vlogging your life. Yeah. That'd be dope as yeah. fuck. You remember like ah, uh, imagine yeah. like when I had, hundred. How much do you have on your YouTube? Sixty k on my YouTube, and then and then you're gonna have like twenty million. Ah, the good old, those good old days. Now I have paparazzi yeah. everywhere following me. I can't take a piss in the woods without taking a photo of me. <laughs> Did you always dream of being famous? Mm, no, I always wanted to be a YouTuber, but but I, I didn't care about fame. I just only care about like having enough views like to live life. So, I don't yeah. care about the whole female. Oh my gosh. No. Yeah, me too. Like, I just want to make videos that people watch. And then when I go to my to outside, I don't want anyone to know me. I just want to live a yeah. normal life. Just make videos. That's for people to enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want the paparazzi yeah. stuff. I don't know. Paparazzi yeah, is like... Yeah, no, the paparazzi stuff. I seen it there when I was there. Like, whoa, whoa, when like French Montana and those rappers were there. The, yo, the paparazzi crowd their car. 
And like when you see them in real life, like you feel like uh, some adrenaline. Like, oh my god, he's actually here! Everyone crowds the car. Oh my god, oh my god! Bro, it's kind of <laughs> annoying. But I understand them. You yeah. have to make money, but it's annoying. Yeah. Like just following you around, just let me be. Let them work. Yeah. Uh, they make money of it, so I understand them. Yeah. I, I respect those paparazzi that are respectful. Yeah. Those those are the best ones. Um. What is your talent? Do you have like a hidden talent or a talent in general? I would say, well, I don't have any talent. I'll just say the only talent I have is just, I guess I know how to make TikTok videos that can get views, like a few mm-hmm. views. That's the only thing I would say because I have like five accounts, four, actually maybe six now. Yeah, six. And I've been able to grow them to at least all over 100K. All of yeah. Them. Yeah. So, yeah. I think one mistake that most influencers do is they don't adapt adapt to the new platform. For example, yeah. like most people that are, that were smart went on TikTok when there was when it was start to when it started to start to go up and now people start to get in. Those influencers they would lose eventually. The best influencers yeah. that will continue to win, for example, is King Batch. King Batch started yeah. from Vine. He saw that Vine was going to go down, so he took his followers to YouTube. I know he's posting yeah. on Instagram, and he started early on TikTok. Although he has a big following, yeah. he started early on TikTok because he saw the opportunity. Yeah. And that dude, yeah. if he continues like that, he was always, he's always going to win because they see yeah. the underpriced attention. They see like where attention yeah. is the most easiest to grab. Like imagine you grow, you grew like way much bigger because of TikTok than you would because of YouTube. Yeah. Damn. On your on your TikTok page, why don't you have your Instagram linked? Oh, because I don't care about Instagram. Yeah, true, true, true. But with Instagram, I think it's more easier to DM, communicate, and talk. It and stuff. is. Yeah. Actually, I was planning to delete my Instagram once I hit 100k on YouTube or, or 200k because I actually don't care too much about other people like who's DMing me and all that I just want to live my own life I thought I might I might delete it actually okay so it's, it's, it's your choice um yeah. but I think but in my opinion I think Instagram is here to stay for a long time because of Mark Zuckerberg and the way that it adapts yeah. always so it's a good prefer- yeah. platform to transfer your audience to okay but you can okay. do what you want. Maybe also, like an idea for you can be like you can do a giveaway, um, on your YouTube channel and you can promote it on your TikTok. So it goes, yeah. it blows up on TikTok. So you yeah. transfer it to your YouTube. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, any last words you want to say to the people that will watch this video? Any message? No, not really. Um. Thank you for coming on, bro. I wish you the best. I wish you like LA. And if there is anything that I can help you with, I would love to help you. Keep that mindset. I like your mindset that you're grateful, humble, and positive. And you aim for your happiness. I like that. And uh, God bless you, man. Take care, man.